Keisha Cole. I am here to do another video. Remember, I am doing my own videos, so you will see an increase in improvement. I am not a specialist at all, but um, I do want to put out a little bit more content. So as I put out more content and improve, I will learn more, I will get better equipment, but right now, you know, I'm just using my phone to record some sessions and allow you to get to know me a little bit better. I'm excited today. Um, I'll do the Wendy Williams shoe cam. Cute, right? Um, so anyway, I'm excited today. I feel really good. I woke up feeling really positive. Uh, as you saw, or we'll see, I'm doing a part two because again, I'm learning uh, how to do these videos. And uh, in my first video, I was trying to decide what I was gonna put on for the day. Uh, today is a relaxed Saturday for all of us. Uh, some people do have to work on Saturday, but um, today is my relaxed day. And uh, I am just excited about today. Oh, I match with my hydrangeas. I love these flowers. These are my favorite. Uh, one of my favorite. I love flowers. If you've seen my Instagram at Dr. Jean Co. D R J E A N C O, you have already seen that I love flowers. My Instagram is really uh, about flowers and positive messaging. Uh, I'm not on there for, you know, check me out. That's just not, I'm not really a social uh, media person. I do have a few things, a little bit of content, as you'll see as you start uh, following me or just checking me out if you're not following me. Um, and you'll see that, you know, I don't really have a lot of content out there. Again, as I stated, intentionally, I'm a very private person. Uh, you know, I like to interact with people when I interact with them. I don't really like to be over the internet, per se. So, I don't have a lot of content out. But, of course, as an author, people have uh, been getting my books and reading them and have been really inspired by them. So, you know, they want to get to know me a little bit better. Uh, I keep it professional more than personal. Uh, so, let's see. A little bit about me. Uh, you will read again in all of my books. I give an introduction to myself a little bit. Um, I started more in the latest, what was it? I think the, late, the last three self-help books. I have this bonus section where I give examples from my life about what it is that um, how I'm relating back to the book. So in the book, they're universally written. And then at the end of the book, for my last few books, I have incorporated a bonus section where I give you a little bit of examples of things that I've experienced or get to know me on a personal note in relation to the topic that I'm discussing about in the book. So uh, I was thinking today about something very important and I've heard this before. Um, it's about confidence and confidence is very important and for people, um, I have a lot of young people who are influenced by me and the good that I do bring to this world. Thank God we all have something good in us. But I think it's very important in today's society. In 2023, people are not as nice, I don't think, as they were 25, 30 years ago. When I was growing up, of course, you, you had bullies and things, but now with the social media era, it allows a lot of people to hide behind the screen and people can really get mean behind the screen. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Um, very mean behind the screen. And I think that it really... 
really damages a lot of people, the bully, the person who's behind the screen, and the person that they're targeting, especially as I stated, young people today, they may not have some of the roots that we had. Um, I'm 43, I'm proud of that. Uh, I don't mind giving my age. I think I look fantastic for 43, I feel fantastic. Um, I'm proud of what I've accomplished at this age in my life. So I just don't think that the young people, I look at people um, like my nieces, my nephews, my children, uh, my students, their children, and just the world that they're growing up in today is so different than when I was their age. And uh, you, you, we dealt with a lot back then, but um, as I stated, it, it just didn't seem like people were so bold to be mean. You know, they would talk about you behind your back, and there's a lot of that still goes on today, but it's important to be confident. And your confidence for you young people um, and you adults who may struggle with self-esteem issues uh, from, you know, some of your past or tragic experiences. A lot of times people who were bullied when they were younger grow up to be mean people or they grow up to be people who uh, sometimes lack confidence because of the turmoil that they experience. But for any individual who struggles with self-esteem issues, uh, I like to believe that I'm a person who is very inspiring and encouraging because for some reason, um, I'm grateful for it too. I believe that I've always had a confidence um, in myself that came from just a, lo a lot of different things, but love. Uh, the way that I grew up, I grew up in a household where I felt loved and also just my natural personality. I really enjoy people. I like people, um, you know, and my innate, my natural, just, you know, nice, nice. Uh, naturally, I just feel like I'm a nice person. I'm not a mean person. I don't have mean intentions. And so um, I was always, you know, for the most part, I guess, you know, treated very well in school by my teachers, by my friends, other students. You know, everybody has some experiences that they can share. But I don't have any that I consider to be so detrimental that it hurt me. Um, I had a really big support system around me when I was in school and when I was um, at home. So I don't know. You know, I can't really probably just pinpoint what it is, but I just always felt confident in me. Um, I, I just... In, I was confident in being who I was. You know, I never really paid attention, even though um, a lot of people call me flashy. I have heard that a lot, um, and it has been said in love, so um, I'm grateful for that. But I am, you know, I do a lot. I do. I do a lot. Um, but I'm comfortable with it because it's me. And I feel that confidence doesn't come from the materials that you have. You know, it doesn't come from the name brands of things. It comes from you. And that's something that I really want all of the young people to know. Any young person out there who does not know that or you don't feel confidence within yourself yet as you're growing in this world and whatever experiences you've had, Please know that the confidence comes from you. You are who you are. You were created to be who you are. Even the adults. You were created to be who you are. I believe in God, so I say that God created each of us. And we are all unique. We are special. We are important. 
we do things differently than other people. We're going to be interested in things that other people will not be and vice versa. But that makes the world go around and it makes everything click in the right places. You can't have everything perfect. So our differences really make us who we are and they're special. So I am comfortable with knowing that God is inside of me. That's what I believe. God is inside of me. God propels me forward. God leads and guides me. And as long as I'm listening and as long as I'm following, which is a free will, sometimes I know that I will be led to go in this direction, do this, and I won't do it because of, you know, my own reasons. But it's important to understand that who you are is good enough. You're good enough. It doesn't matter what your friends say, associates, people that you go to school with, people for adults who you work with. We are different. It's okay to be who you are. As I stated, um, you know, I'm a type of uh, loud, I guess, flashy type of person. But I don't mean it to offend, but I've learned in life that people will be offended by some of the things that you do, that they don't do, that they disagree with. They will choose to be offended by it and allow it to affect how they treat you or the energy that they put toward you and yes like anybody I've experienced it you know I've been talked about I've been ridiculed criticized um tried to be put down by other people because I'm different my style is different or my attitude my personality is different and for young people and again even older adults who might struggle with this topic it is important to know that it doesn't matter what you try to do. If you try to be someone else, if you try to copy somebody else, it's not going to feel right. It won't feel right. It won't flow right because it's not who you are. Like this, this fancy dancy, that's me. That is who I am. Big rings, uh, loud flashiness, that's who I am. Uh, some things, name brand that I have, other things are not, and I'm okay with that. Again, I'm teaching especially young people. The brand that you carry, it doesn't make you. The degree on the wall that I have, that I've achieved, and the other degrees over there on that wall, they don't make me. I make the degree. If you go to school and get a degree, you make the degree. The degree doesn't make you. Your job, it doesn't make you. The clothes that you wear, it doesn't make you. Okay, you're who you are and you make or bring out the things that you interact and engage with. And this is so important. You know, so people, some people, depending on who I'm around, um, might think that some of the name brand things that I wear, if they don't wear that, um, they might feel like, oh, well, why, you know, why do you buy that kind of stuff? Or why do you wear that? Or they might pass me if they don't know me and think, oh, because I have on certain brand name things that are recognizable. It's, well, um, you know, she has to have that. You know, people make up all kinds of things. But as I stated, uh, things don't make me, okay? I, I'm... A human being I believe that I'm a spirit created I believe all of us are spirits living in a human body and we we are who we are we're who we were created to be and that person is very important very special and um, it's just something that you need to know like you're not going to wear the same things that other people wear. And you're not going to feel comfortable and, and confident in trying to do something that somebody else does. Everything that I wear, every, I'm, I'm comfortable with it. Like, it doesn't matter if people laugh at me, who does she think she is, or um, any of that. It doesn't bother me, honestly, because truthfully, 
I'm not really focused on what other people think. When I since as I stated when I was recording, um, you know, since I was in middle school and high school, uh, I've just always put together things that I liked. When I went shopping, I would buy what I liked. It didn't matter from my very first job. Shout out to Piggly Weasley when I was 17 years old. Um, I was working at Piggly Weasley. That was my first job. And of course, I wasn't getting paid much at all. You know, I was a cashier. Um, but my point is, I wasn't making a lot of money. And I would still go to the mall um, with my mom, my sisters, and uh, my boyfriend at the time, who is now my husband of 22 years. Like, and I would always just buy what I liked. I'm a person who I believe every designer deserves respect. You have designers who are not known yet. They're not known all over the world, but they design beautiful things. There are people that you go to school with right now that probably make jewelry and other creative artistic things that um, can be part of the fashion world. And nobody knows who they are, but fashion and art and creativity it's unique. It's supposed to be different. And I'm a person, I like what I like. If it's expensive, if it's cheap, it doesn't matter to me. You know, when I get dressed, um, when I make purchases, I just buy what I like, really. I don't buy it because, oh, everybody has this or they don't. Not really. Um, I don't like to wear the same things that everybody has. Uh, I, you know, I don't want to drive the most popular car that everybody has. You know, I do like to be um, different, but you know, in certain areas, you will have, you know, things that like I'm not the only person who has this purse or these shoes or you know, this scarf or whatever. My point is that when you're doing what you want. When you're wearing what you want to wear, when you're acting the way that you want to act, regardless of your friends or your family members and how they act and what they might want you to do. You know, a lot of people um, who are not confident, you follow other people and you do what they want you to do and it's not you. So, um, you know, I wear what I want to wear and if people laugh at me or talk about me or whatever. I mean, 